Hello everybody, it's Catherine from the Amazon Jungle Show. So today I'm going to talk to you about the five freedoms. And five freedoms are what all animals and even you need to have. Now, it's all to do with animal welfare, which is one of my favourite topics because I try to work alongside animal welfare and rescue some uh, like lizards and snakes and exotics and parrots and everything. Um, and other people would rescue dogs and cats. So rescuing an animal is really important because we're taking an animal out of a bad situation or a bad home and giving it a nice good home. Um, so there's five freedoms or five rights that an animal deserves. And I'm going to go through them with you. But first of all, I'm going to ask you why. Why do animals have rights? Why do they have things that they need that we need to provide? Well, one reason is, is that they actually feel exactly like us. They feel hunger and pain. They feel love and they love our, their friends and they feel everything that we feel and that's really important. The other reason is, is that um, they cannot speak English or a human language like we can. So they can't really talk to us, but if you look into their eyes, if you look into a dog's eyes or a cat's little face, you can see all the expressions and all the emotions there. And that's really important because if you stand accidentally on a cat or dog's tail, they scream. It's painful for them and you've done it by accident and you go, oh no. And that big scream tells you that they have felt it very easily, just like us when we hurt ourselves. Um, and all animals have a right to be free and happy and have friends. And they definitely have a right to have food and water and care and shelter. And if they're wild animals, they kind of have to look after themselves. And that's okay, they can survive by themselves. But domesticated cats and dogs, like our little pets, and maybe our budgies and our hamsters, they need us to look after them. Um, and about 50 years ago, although they updated all the time, there was a law that was passed by the RSPCA to make sure all animals had their rights. So it's actually against the law to be cruel to an animal, to hurt it or to neglect it or not give it food or water. So it's against the law to do that. Now, I'm going to tell you about the five freedoms. One is freedom from hunger or thirst. All animals need good food and clean water. Uh, number two is freedom from discomfort, meaning that they need a comfortable bed, they need adequate good food, and they don't want to be sore or in pain all the time. That's important because sometimes animals like you and I can be a bit bored sometimes, and that's okay. Or sometimes we can be a bit sore sometimes, we've bumped ourselves and there's a bruise, that's fine. But if it's happening every single day, an animal or you would feel really upset. Now, there's a third freedom and that is freedom from pain, injury or disease. And that means that you must vaccinate your pets so they don't get diseases that would hurt them. You can't hurt an animal you can't like um, be cruel to them or bully them. Uh, it's against the law and it's so not nice. Who would do that? Um, and also a vet needs to see them if they're sick. So if an animal is sick, it has a right to see a vet and get better. Now, there's number four. Number four is um, freedom to express normal behavior. That's really important because you and I want to act like ourselves. I want to be me. I want to drink a glass of water when I want to. I want to eat when I want to. I want to go to bed when I'm tired. And I want to play and do all the fun things when I would like to. An animal and an animal is exactly the same. It wants to eat and drink when it wants to. So it deserves that right. It deserves to roll around in the hay or the sand when it wants to, or be able to move. And there's an awful lot of farm animals that can't even move 
you can't even turn around because there's not enough space. Um, so farm animals have very little rights compared to our pets. Now, number five is um, freedom from uh, fear and disease, or sorry, distress. So fear and distress. And that means that they don't want to be frightened and they don't want to be lonely and they don't want to be in so much distress that they're stressed every day. Uh, so as I say, you can be bored sometimes, you can be a bit annoyed or we can even feel sad for one day. But if it's every day, that's a bit of a problem. So the five freedoms, count on your hand, put your hand up. Freedom from hunger and thirst, freedom from discomfort, freedom from pain, injury or disease, freedom to express normal behaviour and freedom from fear and stress. And that's the five freedoms. Now, uh, your pet at home needs food and water and a good bed and you have to make sure that they have it. Now, those are the basic five needs that an animal needs to survive. But there's also a few luxuries. For example, if a dog is allowed to sleep in your bed, that is a lovely little luxury. Or if you give a dog a sausage as a treat, or a bone as a treat, that's actually a luxury too. Or cats can have a wee treat, or a wee, maybe a wee mouse to play, and that's known as a little luxury. Or taking your dog on a very long walk along the beach. They're all luxuries, they're not needed, but it's because you love your pet that much that you want to make your pet happy. And happy pets mean you're happy too. Okay, so what happens when an animal can't have these things or it doesn't have these things? How would you feel if you didn't have shelter, food and water or friends? You would feel really sad, maybe frightened and lonely and maybe a bit cold and you don't have your mummy or your friends. So you'd be really, really upset and animals feel exactly the same. Now, some animals actually quite like to live on their own, like hamsters like to live on their own and a couple of wild animals like to live on their own. But many animals are social, which means that they're in their families and they're in groups of large numbers and they love to be social. Uh, so what can you do if you see a dog that is outside and shivering and cold and maybe a bit hungry? What do you do? Well, there you can ring the animal welfare officer or the USPCA. Now, what happens? What do they do? So an animal welfare officer goes to the place where the animal um, lives and they have to be very, very careful and considerate. There's two reasons what, or two ways that they do this. They can go into a house and they might notice that the owner is a bit old or um, maybe is a bit sick and can't care for the animals that they love so much. And sometimes it happens where an owner just falls very sick or gets a wee bit old. They love the animal, but they just can't look after it anymore. So the animal welfare officer very kindly says, would you like me to find another home for it? And, and that's really a nice way. But the other way is that an animal welfare officer will go on into a home and the home is very messy and the animal is living in very messy conditions and doesn't have enough food or enough water, is on its own and nobody really wants the animal and the owner doesn't really want it. So what the animal welfare officer does is say, I'm taking this animal and I'm gonna find a better home for it because you can't really look after it. So that's the two ways that they can do it. So it's really important that you uh, kind of ring animal welfare officers when you see an animal that's like in pain or really, really sad and is living in really bad conditions. Um, so when we've described the five freedoms and a little bit of luxuries and animals' rights, do you think animals should have a lot more rights and what would they be? 
or do you think they deserve more luxuries and what would they be? Now, there is a really lovely way of uh, explaining this to you because why are we talking about all the freedoms, the basic needs and the little luxuries? Is you can make up your own. You can make up five basic needs that you need. You need a nice bed, you need food, you need your mummy and daddy, you need friends, you need to learn and play. You can make up on a piece of paper your own five basic freedoms. Now, for fun, you can also make five luxuries, meaning five things that you would love to do every day. Now, for example, a basic need is to eat food every day, but a luxury might be, be able to want or want to eat ice cream every day. I don't think you could do that, but that would be a treat, wouldn't it? Uh, another thing is that you could have your lovely cozy bed with your cozy duvet. And a luxury would be that you sleep in in the mornings and nobody wakes you until you want to. So that you can make up all of your five basic needs and all your five luxuries and have fun doing it. And um, so hopefully I have taught you a little bit about uh, the five freedoms of animal welfare. And make sure your pet has lots of food and water. Um, if you're buying a pet, it's really good to research about them. For example, if you're at school or your mummy and daddy are at work for eight hours a day and you sleep for eight hours a day, that means that for 16 hours a day, your pet is on its own. So have a think and maybe write down how long you spend with your pet. Or if you, if you would like a pet, how many hours could you spend with it? And that's a really good idea because it gives you an idea of if it's one hour, two hours or three hours that you actually spend with your pet. And when you research a pet, you also research how much time it needs. Does it need um, a holiday whenever you're on holiday? Does it go somewhere that it can go on its holidays as well to be with other dogs or other cats that somebody can look after? Also, you have to think about vet treatments and vet's bills. So you need lots of money for that. And you need lots of money to feed it every day. So you can maybe look at your pet or ask your mummy and daddy how much it takes to actually look after and keep your pet in your house. And if you don't have a pet, look it up online of what it takes to look after a dog or a cat and you can comment below. Boys and girls, thank you so much for watching this little video on the five freedoms of animal welfare. And I hope you've learned a lot. Um, comment below, please like and share these wee videos to all your friends and I will see you soon. Bye bye.